Yo, welcome back. Day two training and today we are about to destroy and build the chest. You see, chest is not just this, basically chest will help you to give you the nice strong upper body. Just example, like today, like now, I'm actually pretty fat compared to my peak season. You see, um, not that bad, right? It's because, you see, the chest is what gives the illusion of having a bigger upper body and therefore it creates the illusion of having a smaller waistline. Obviously, it would be better if I get to trim down even more. This is where you get a nice aesthetic physique, right? So I got to wear back my shirt because it's not the right gym etiquette to train shirtless in the gym, right? So are we ready? Let's go. So here, there's another way to warm up. It's dynamic warm up, right? Shoulder. It's the key joint for chest. And not just the chest, actually, it's for your entire upper body. Even for curling, for arms day, shoulder is very important. So giving a good warm up, like just a rotation, external rotation, is crucial, right? Go lightweight, no ego, 15 repetitions. And after that, rest and do two warm up sets of this. Exercise number one, flat barbell bench press. So to develop a strong, big chest, this is so-called the bread and butter of all the chest exercise. Warm up, no weight. First working set, right? So here, one tip you want to take home today to make your bench press effective is when you press, don't flare up your elbow too high. You see, when you do this, you will easily run your back and this is where you get injuries, right? So instead of doing this, try to tuck your elbow down a little bit and expand the chest. So in other words, it's like this, right? Chest up, shoulder low, Elbow low, not too low because too low you will hit your tricep. So something like this, 45 degrees. So rest for 90 seconds. Remember, it will be great if you can time your workout. Just get a stopwatch. Time it, 90 seconds. That's exercise one, four working sets. Please do this. Put back your weights. Exercise two, now we are about to do the incline version of the bench press using dumbbell because dumbbell allows you to play with the range of motion and it's very good for muscles imbalance. So only one warm up required and the rest is all working sets. Work set number one. So do about 10 repetitions, try to maintain a good form. Again, practice this. Instead of this, right, this is a slopey form, this, and balance the dumbbell. Make sure you don't close, right? You want to maintain a straight line. Okay, so try to add up the weight every working set. So if you're heating too hard during your first set, you should back off a little bit, lighten the weight, and work lighter weights and slowly work back up, right? This is where you give your body progressive overload to grow. Each set, you should feel harder and harder. When you feel the pain, don't back off from there. But you have to be smart. If anything like sharp pain, shoulder is discomfort, then this is a bad signal. But if you just feel sore, exhausted, fatigue, it is okay. Right now, it's an active rest zone. So I'm gonna do body weight. And the first exercise is going to be as simple as just a butt kicker. 
20 seconds non-stop, get a timer, or you can use my timer, JY timer, and then take like five to 10 seconds of transition, move on to the second exercise. The second exercise, you're gonna do some app work, you're gonna do a leg raise, and the third exercise, you're about to do a run in place with a high knee up. You ready? Let's go. One thing about this exercise leg raise, if you have weak lower back or you have injuries on your tailbone, then I strongly recommend you not to do this exercise. What you can do is you do the opposite version, just like this on your plank, do a knee raise like this. Okay, this is friend here to a lower back, right? Last of all, third exercise, high knee up. Third exercise, back to the waist, and now this is an isolation work that isolates the chest. We are about to do a dumbbell version, or you can use a cable, as long as you do a nice adduction that creates tension to your chest. <laughs> 60 seconds rest, and when you do this, just imagine you're hugging someone, right? Open up, expand the chest, and squeeze. Up next, this is also known as the last exercise for the chest. Now, this is an incline version, but it's gonna be a modification. And right now, we're about to train the upper chest and the front shoulder. So in other words, this bench is 45 degree. I'm gonna bring it up to 80 degree, right? This is tough. Some of you may say it's all shoulder, but I truly believe there will be some upper chest as well. Because of shoulder and upper chest together, this is why I save it at the last. I don't want the shoulder to interfere with the chest earlier. Yep, that's it. Once again, we are not done yet. One last final blow, and that is to fire up everything we have left to call this workout a great workout. The final workout for today is going to be different from yesterday, where yesterday we do three exercises, 20 seconds for each. But today, we are about to do only one exercise, but it's going to be M rep. It stands for as many reps as possible. So the exercise is going to be like this. Grip, go wide, right? Start from the ground, we're gonna do a push up. Once you're here, in, repeat. This is to finish off the chest, the shoulder, and by jumping in and out, we'll burn calories, right? Because extra movement and train your core as well. Right, you ready? Let's go. So do until you no longer can execute a proper push-up, call it a set, right? You can do two sets or one set, one or two is up to you. But for me, I will do another set, right? Right, showing off a little bit. This is where you get this physique if you train consistent. Now, I'm not really done yet. I finished my workout, but I would say recommend you spend at least five to 10 minutes to stretch your muscles, especially your just train area, chest, shoulder, and maybe your triceps because it's a secondary one, right? Now, if you find this series is helpful and you get a lot of benefit from this, if you don't want to miss out my training program, actually all this is from my training program, it's from the Iron Mastery app. This is where you get so much more than this series, right? That helps you to train from A to Z, to eat right and how you can develop a physique like this. And tomorrow is gonna to be a hard one. It's gonna be a lower body day. So make sure you eat right, rest well, and I'll see you tomorrow.